Okay, like I told you, I want to show you the basic satellite dish installation tools that you need to get for yourself. Once you get it, follow our training step by step. You will stay anywhere you are and become a professional satellite dish installer. Number one on this table as one of our satellite dish tools is satellite finder. This is satellite finder. With this, you can put in your transpondent or type in your frequency and symbol rate of any satellite you want to track and you will be able to use the meter to get it. This is, some people call it tracker. Some people call it satellite finder. So it has a button here where you can just turn it. Once you turn it, it will start displaying. So with this, once you get your signal, it will start displaying on the monitor here. So with this, it makes your work very, very easy to see your readings and to see the satellite that you are tracking, that you have actually gotten it. So once you get the signal of the satellite, it will start showing here, just like TV. It will start displaying here like TV. So this is number one tools. Number one tool that you need to get satellite finder. Apart from this one, we we'll have the cloud hammer. Cloud hammer. This is called cloud hammer. It's a professional hammer. With it, you can nail anything you want to nail on the wall. This is cloud hammer. You need it as one of the satellite dish installation tools. Another one that you need here is plier. You need plier. Plier as one of the tools you need. Another one is pinches. You need pinches. If you want to use it to remove nail from the wall or screw, anything you want to use to remove, you can use pinches to do that. The same thing with this plier. You can use plier to remove anything you want to remove or even help you to tight anything you want to tight. We have screwdriver. Screwdriver, you can use it to screw any boards that you want to screw on any platform. So this is screwdriver. It has star head and a flat head. Another thing you need is the spanners. You need the spanners. Like what I have here, I have 14 and 15 size. 14 and 15 size spanner. Another one I have here is 11 and 10 spanner. 11 and 10 spanner, you need it. We have also here 12 and 13 spanner. 12 and 13 spanner, you need this. This is the same thing, 10. 10 ring and 10 flat. Here is flat, while here is ring. 10 ring and 10 flat. You need it as well. This is also the same thing as what I've showed you before. 11 and 10 size ring spanner. So you need this so that your work will be very easy. You need also small knife. Small knife that you can be using to cut coaxial cable. Or anything you want to cut. You need, you need this small knife to cut it. You will also need drilling machine. Drilling machine, you need it to drill through the wall. For anything you want to put expansion pipe, you can use drilling machine to drill through. So we use it and it makes your work very easy. Very easy. It makes your work very easy. In a situation where you do not have drilling machine, you can use punch you can use punch manually to punch whatever you want to punch through with this punch and the cloud hammer you can use it and punch whatever you want to punch through so you we use this a lot once it concerns satellite dish installation or any other installation so uh you know these are the bits 
that come with the drilling machine. And this drilling machine has double battery. It's a cordless drilling machine of 32 volts. 32 volts. So the power is enough to serve you anything you want to drill through. You can use it and do it. And it makes your work very, very easy. We have here clip. We use clip a lot to clip Kwasia cable against the wall. It makes your work neat. Maybe you enter a house where there is no conduit wiring in the building. So you can just use this one to guide your wire as you are wiring along the wall. So we use this clip a lot. We also use this tape. This is black solo tape. We use it because it's insulative in nature. So you can use it to solo tape the wire. Maybe you join the wire and you want to uh, cover it up. You use this black solo tape to cover it up. So this is Kowazia cable. Kowazia cable. RG6 Kowazia cable. This is the wire that we normally use for satellite dish installation uh, of any type. So even if you want to use it for antenna or you want to use it for satellite dish, this is the Kowazia cable you need. This RG6 Kowazia cable will have the white one, will have the black one. So this is the black one, one row of the black one. So another thing we use alongside with the tools is this jumper wire jumper wire so after everything i will still show you how to connect jumper wire 